Today we're taking booze in the kitchen and making grenadine. For this recipe, you're going to need a large measuring cup, a small measuring cup, a pot, a wooden spoon, a large strainer, a fine mesh strainer, a funnel, a bottle with an airtight lid, a muddler, and a mixing glass, or optionally, a food processor. The ingredients are water, sugar, pomegranate seeds, and both rose water and orange flower water. The flower waters are great to have, and they add some brightness to the syrup, but in a pinch, you can get away without using them. Obviously, you're going to be better off making your own grenadine than buying a bottle of corn syrup and neon red dye they call grenadine at the store. Grenadine is a pomegranate syrup, so you should taste the pomegranate. You'll want to try to get pomegranate seeds. They'll add an extra dimension to your grenadine. If pomegranates are out of season, some places will sell packaged seeds by themselves. If you can't find pomegranate seeds, then use real pomegranate juice. Make sure there's no added sugar or added anything else. The bottle should contain pomegranate juice and water. And that's it. And because the water is already in the bottled stuff, there's no need to add extra water when you're using bottled juice as the base. You only need water if you're starting from the seeds. The water will help thin it out a little bit. The syrup's supposed to be on the thicker side, but you're not trying to make pomegranate marmalade. For a batch this size, I like using a quarter cup of water. But when in doubt, add less, because you can always add more later. This recipe is adapted from the 12 bottle bar by Leslie and David Salmonson. Their recipe makes a bigger batch and uses bottled pomegranate juice. But their technique is my favorite because they reduce part of the syrup, which creates pomegranate molasses. A lot of other recipes call for bottled pomegranate molasses. With this recipe, we're shooting for about one and a half cups, but scale it as you need it. If you're using pomegranate seeds, you should get two pomegranates, which should yield around two cups of seeds by volume or about 300 grams of seeds by weight. You'll want to start by extracting the juice. The best way is to mash them up with a muddler, but you can use a food processor if you'd like. This should result in approximately a cup of pomegranate juice. Next, strain the larger solids with a large strainer and press down on the pulp to wring out some more of the juice. Then strain it again with the fine mesh strainer. Add a cup of strained pomegranate juice to the pot. If you're using bottled pomegranate juice, you'll start here. Measure two cups of sugar, Add that to the pot. You might want to add yours in batches instead of all at once like I did. It'll make it a lot easier to dissolve the sugar if you do it in batches. Turn the stove on the lowest heat possible and stir constantly until all the sugar is dissolved. Remove three quarters of the syrup from the stove. Turn up the heat to medium and reduce the remaining syrup down by about half. Then add your reduced syrup to the rest of the syrup and give it a quick stir. Add a couple drops of rose water and add a couple drops of orange flower water and give that a stir. Pop in your funnel and pour the syrup into your bottle. If you started from pomegranate seeds, measure out a quarter cup or two ounces of water and add that to the mixture. If you want it to last a little longer, measure out an ounce of vodka and add it to the syrup. It won't change the flavor and it'll help preserve it. Since it's being used for cocktails anyway, you can't go wrong by spiking it. But either way, you should store this one in the fridge. And there you have it, homemade grenadine. Enjoy. Click here for more videos, be sure to subscribe, and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.